Right. So yeah, we all know that most traders experience. You see what Ryan is saying, guys. Ryan is saying that his emotions are 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 really powerful once he's in profitable territory, and most ex most traders experience that. And it's over time that you need to reverse those emotions. So most traders experience fear when they're profitable, fear that the profit's going to disappear, fear that they're going to lose everything that they've gained. They get more nervous in profitable territory. They're actually calmer in negative territory, which is actually the reverse. They're more relaxed in negative territory because they're they're hoping and praying that the stock turns around. And in positive territory, they're hoping that the stock does not eliminate their gain. So the fear and the hope are misplaced. They're on the wrong side. Whereas that when you're profitable and you're in this RBI, boom, you have to hope for the next bar, not fear that you're going to lose. It's, dip, it's the opposite. And when you're in here and your stock drops and violates your stop, you can't hope for it to turn. You have to fear that there's more downside. So fear is in this location and hope is in that location. But in the beginning, your emotions are reversed. You fear in profitable territory and you hope in negative territory. And we have to reverse all of that. It takes time, but that's being reborn. See, when you change your emotional base, your emotional and psychological structure, the way you think and when you think, when all of that changes, isn't that you going through a rebirth? If you think completely differently, you are not the same person who thought the old way. If you feel, if your emotions trigger differently, you are not the same person that you were when they triggered another completely different way. So a part of this process is being reborn and is being rewired. And it's that rewiring that kicks you into the new realm. Most people quit before any rewiring takes place. They run out of money before any rebirth occurs or they get frustrated and quit before any rebirth occurs. So lasting through that rebirth period, that period that you have to actually change who you are to have different results, that period is the most frustrating period of your trading career because let's face it you can't get different results until you become a different person you can't get different results until you are reborn until you change because you are producing those results the market's not producing the results you're producing the results and in order to get different results, you have to become different. So everyone is focused on finding a different strategy, finding a different tactic, finding a different teacher, finding a different mentor, finding a different trading book, finding a different everything else except a different them, a different you. And as long as you take the same you who's feeling the same way, having emotions the same way. As long as you take the same you into all of these new and different things, you are going to get the same results. All right, guys, that's my preaching and sermon for today. I got to always give you a little sermon every single day. That's my sermon. Thank you, Ryan, for providing the backdrop for my sermon. <laughs>